Hey there, Chad Bonja here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're looking for economic series such as consumer price index, we're looking for GDP, that sort of thing for international uh, countries as well as the U.S., or if you're looking for historical stock uh, pricing uh, or his historical equity index pricing, um, uh, things like that, you want to check out DataStream. It's a great resource that will allow you to get that data that you need and download it into an Excel format. This video shows you the basis of using DataStream and how to download information that you need in Excel. Okay, so the easiest way to use DataStream is to open up Excel on the dedicated DataStream terminal in the library. Uh, what you'll do is once you open that up, you'll see a DataStream ribbon up here. So you can click on DataStream there, and that will give you uh, all these options here. So we're going to go in and create a, um, a time series request because we're looking for time series information, historical pricing, that kind of stuff would be a time series request. So we'll do that and click Start uh, Time Series Request there. And then it gives you this option here. So here's where it gives you the choice of where you can find your time, your, your series that you're looking for. So the first thing you're going to do is kind of step-by-step -step process is click on Find Series here. And what it'll do is it'll open up. Now it may open up as a search, uh, like a text search or something like that. I usually prefer to use the Explore option there, uh, depending on what I'm looking for there. So if you're looking for, um, let's just look for... Um, Right now we're in equity indices. If we change this to equities and we're looking for information about uh, Best Buy, we do a search for Best Buy. And all you have to do is click there and then click Use. And then you can go down and choose what kind of data, data types you want. If you wanted uh, different kind of pricing information, things like that, you can just kick, click on like key data types here. Um, um, and you can kind of see the information that, that we have available. Let me widen this out a little bit so we can see here. Um, you can see what uh, the time series is, uh, things like that. Um, you can go down and say, well, I'm looking for actually, uh, we can do market value. Uh, we could do um, uh, market value capital. You can go down and do uh, price opening, price low, price high. Um, you can just do price. And once you do all that, you can click use selected. And it gives you that information. Now, what you can do is you can change the time if you want to. You can do a start date, end date. Uh, you want to definitely go down and click on um, uh, display headings. If you're doing any kind of international stock index or something like that, you want to do display currency, that sort of thing. And then change it what your frequency is. Now your frequency needs to match up with what the frequency is for the particular data type you're looking at. So if it's an annual data type, you can't do a daily frequency. So you want to, you want to look at that as well. Otherwise you'll get an error. So we'll click submit here and it'll do its thing. It's going to crunch some numbers here and then we're going to get, uh, get our data. Okay, so there's all the data we have. Uh, we can download that to it. Obviously, it's in Excel format, uh, that sort of thing. So that's for an equity. Now, let's say you want to look at an equity index or something like that. We can also go under Time Series Request. Uh, we can do Find Series. And then let's, you have to actually choose equity indices. Or if you want a consumer price information, you have to go under Economics. You kind of have to look around a little bit to find the information that you need there. So I'm going to click on Equity Indices. And uh, what you can do is actually click on Explore. And you can actually go in and choose what you're looking for. So if you wanted like uh, benchmarks at a glance, you could do that sort of thing. If you wanted, um, click on Explore More. If you wanted um, uh, by market. So for example, if we're looking at Argentina and we want information about the Buenos Aires Stock Exchange, you can go in and grab uh, Merkval there, uh, click Use. And once again, uh, we can display currency here. Um, you can have it. Uh, uh, exchange the currency if you wanted to. Just by simply clicking on the, the dollar sign there, you can tell it what, what currency you want it in. If you leave it a uh, default here, it'll, it'll give you the price index. If we click Submit, uh, it'll go in and give us uh, the price index for, for that. And you see we get the currency, that sort of thing. So that's, that's how you basically use it. You, you just basically click on Time Series Request and go in and find your series and then change your dates. Make sure they match up. Make sure you're looking for if you're finding that if the available is available, uh, data is available daily, you can click on daily. If not, you have to actually click on what it is available for, uh, that sort of thing. And usually it'll tell you under the under the series what information is available, how how often it's updated, and that sort of thing. So so that's the basics of how to use a data stream. Uh, data stream is available at, at one library terminal, just ask at the second floor desk. It's also available um, in the economics lab in Bentley. So. Uh, a good resource to use for economic and, and uh, stock indices and stock price information as well. Hopefully this helps you. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.